Gang, the State Trashy Tour is coming to a city near you. Stand-up comedy, plus we play a little AYG with the crowd. Shows are selling out, and you can get your tickets at rugarbage.com. See you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Hey. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they grew up to be classy. Yeah. Or to just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. Little news on her. She was the big winner at Bingo last night. Great. Going to be in the newspaper. Awesome. Not for Bingo, though. DWI. My co-host <laughs> is coming at you from across the table. Got a head like a chickpea. But we love him. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. <laughs> Thanks a lot, high I hair. I was kind happy of to be, happy to be here. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate. Nothing me, on that. <laughs> make sure you rate, review, so you shouldn't have been shitting on his family before. I make sure you it. rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are true to roof. Cooking. Then obviously the greatest website yes, of sir. one one of the two greatest websites of all time. Mm-hmm. www.patreon.com. Slash are you garbage? You go over there and you get a bajillion hours of content. I'm talking multiple wild wolf videos. Mm-hmm. You got the boat video. You got the Charleston video. You got all, I mean, cribs, vacation, road tour vlog. Hard feelings. Hard the whole feelings. Nine yards. Bonus episodes every week. Check it the frick out, gang. Like a network over there. It is. And then also the second greatest website of all time, www.rugarbage.com. Um, get some baby. Picks. Go over there. You get all the live show tickets you mm-hmm. need to the Stay Trashy Tour, which I got to be honest with you, are selling the frick out. Yes. So go get those tickets before they're sold out and you're stuck out in the cold. We love you, gang. Have a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire. I forget when I need him sometimes. Sure. And that really bit me in the ass on that duty. He is a uh, he's a kick flipping stand up comedian. From the backwoods of North Carolina, by the way, is Chicago, Illinois. Give it up for Toby McMullen, everybody. What up, boys? Hey, what pal. up, T-Bone? So is that the is the hair supposed to be like a helmet? Is it's it protective? Big. It's high today. Is it woofing? It's whoo, baby. It looks strong. Looks like fucking Tony Hawk's gonna drop in on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it looks like the wave in the perfect storm. Yeah. <laughs> Flips the boat. <laughs> Ah oh, man, going down with the ship. That's up there. Yeah, it's a high. It's high today. It doesn't look bad. It's, it's just... getting a little longer. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> you don't say. It's getting a little longer. Uh huh. And I've been blow drying it. I've been wait- getting it completely dry, combing it back, and then just using a little bit of crew forming cream in it. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of what it is. I'm gonna get a little trimmed up. It's great. Get trimmed. Get my eyebrows done. Get the ears cleaned out. There you go. Not doing the nose anymore. I had a really bad infection when I had my nose hair pulled. It's no good. This has been gross hour with H. Foley, everybody. Ingrown hairs and infections with you. We're two hey, minutes in. Nothing's going to break my mood today. I don't care how much you make fun of me. It's fucking the fall, and it feels good it feels out there. feels very nice out there. Crisp in the air. A season of smells, if I can say that. Oh, I hear a man of smells, <laughs> too. Don't, get, don't, don't sell yourself short, big I love guy. the way it smells in the city. You course. know what I mean? When you, when you get that, you know it's great? Crisp day, you get that hamburger smell. Like it's like a restaurant's nearby, okay, and it like smells like burgers. I, you don't I get that. that? Or I, how about pizza? You get a, you get a, you get like that onion sauce smell. I don't equate that to weather. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it moves through the air better when it's nice out. When there's a little bit of a light breeze and the humidity's low and the barometric pressure. Plus, it saves you some steps because you start floating towards <laughs> yeah, it like a cartoon, right? <laughs> like a fucking moth to a light. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. You like a good hamburger. Um, speaking of, uh, so, all right, I got, I got something I want to get into. This is a little hard feelings-esque. Okay. Because I had for hard feelings with the gentleman uh, in front of me in line at a, at a store, but it does bring up an etiquette thing, which we, we tend to talk about a lot on this show. Okay. How to operate out there in a, in a world for a couple of bozos. Sure. Uh, I was at a, um, I want to say, not a frozen yogurt place, like an ice cream place. A little more of a higher end ice cream place. Were you? Yeah, my wife likes it, so uh-huh. we were there. I'm not an I'm not a sweets man. I've said this a bunch. You guys have a dinner roll. <laughs> you got any old croissants back there? It's more of a gelato spot. That's the word Ooh, I'm looking for. Italian a gelato. a gelato. Which what is the difference? I know I know custard. There's egg in it, mm-hmm. which doesn't get enough love. Frozen custard. 
really has gotten bamboozled. Okay. You don't do Core Brothers down ashore on the boardwalk? I'm not a big ice cream guy. When it does, I'm a, I'm a Philly man through and through. So Rita's water ice all day, every day. Shout out to the chocolate, the vanilla, the root beer. Man, also, a, a root beer water ice with man, a soft pretzy. So underrated. Tuck me in. Yeah, it's all right. Also, shout out to Bassett's ice cream. Bassett's ice cream, yeah. Philadelphia original, the mm -hmm. best vanilla in the world. Um... What is gelato? Do you know you're a man of the world? I do know. The difference between gelato and ice cream is ice cream is made with cream and gelato is made with milk. Really? Yep. <laughs> Just ruined my day. <laughs> I thought it'd be more cream. It's creamier. <laughs> Why is that so upsetting? <laughs> Bummer. I don't know. I thought there'd be a little more something in there. Extra sugar or something. Can't trust these Italians. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn fucking, swindlers. Fucking st they're skimming the fucking skimming the ice cream, these fucking guys. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. That's it? Gelato to me is more fancy. That's a, that's a European thing. Gelato. It's like, ten, it's like $10 more. I don't yeah. even like going in this store. <laughs> fucking commie bastards. I, I was slightly. Fucking Mussolini. <laughs> let me get a chocolate. <laughs> I was slightly <laughs> off. Fucking grease balls. <laughs> keep your eyes off my wife, <laughs> will you? Keep my wallet in my hand at all times. <laughs> I can pickpocket you. I can't fucking it. trust it. Yeah, trust these. <laughs> trust them as far as I can throw them. Uh, uh, it uses cream and milk, but less cream and more milk than ice cream. Really? Yes. Huh. It's much creamier and like uh, flavorful than ice cream. I think. Sure. It's awesome. Gelato's yeah. great. Sure. Um. So, so you're in there. We're in there. Nice joint. Um. We're in there, and uh, we go in, and they're known. It is a little hoity-toity. It ain't like a chocolate vanilla fucking joint. It's not It's not that. It's not the basics with, like, hey, we got a mint chocolate chip and a rocky road. Honey and rose petal. Honey and rose, hibiscus and this, ah. fucking fig and olive. All, all very, And it's just not my cup of tea. The, the bird loves it. Did you get something? No, I don't. You don't? I ha I've had it. She goes a lot. I don't like it. Huh. That's kind of her guilty pledge. Okay. Um, so we're in there. There's maybe there's a couple, one or two people in front of us, right? You know, and then like one group's together. It's mm -hmm. called two, three people. Okay. Then a younger couple, mid twenties, maybe thirty, guy and a gal. Don't know how long they've been dating. Early dating vibes. It seemed. Though. Okay. It wasn't like. They weren't super lovey-dovey, and they weren't to the point where, like, they were. it was still, like, engaged. And like, oh, no. I got you. Yeah, not just like, oh, we're doing just, a little schmoopy. A little bit, but, like, she wasn't super into it. Into it. Either way, that was just my take. I don't know. That doesn't have anything to do. I mean, I whacked maybe off were, to it later, for sure. Maybe they weren't together at all. <laughs> so then uh, me and my wife, I'm mm -hmm. not ordering. She's ordering. And then uh, I think, like, one or two other people behind. Uh, yeah, pretty busy. Not busy, but, you know. A right. nice flow of customers. Got it. As the couple, the 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 couple in front of us is getting up to go up, he goes, "Hey, listen," uh, which I do respect. He goes, "We're gonna get some samples." He turns around to you and says, "This if you guys want to go in front of us." Oh, and I'm gentlemen. like, "Nah, my it's fine." I'm in my head. I'm like, "All right, what's it? What's it gonna be? Forty seconds? You know what I mean? Like, it's fine. I'm in no rush. I'm hanging." What? Were you gonna get samples? Maybe what? Maybe the bird was gonna try one. They, they're big on the samples. They got the things there, and because they change the flavor so frequently, and they are so unique, it's like he's not. I get that he's not asking for vanilla mm -hmm. or whatever. I'm like, let me taste the vanilla. Were well, you gonna get a sample? I wasn't getting a sample. You're not gonna touch nothing. No, I was. You're in a gelato place. Your wife's getting something. You're not gonna get a little cup. I already had my dessert, which was heaters. <laughs> But this bothers me a little more than anything else you're about to tell me. <laughs> yeah, because you don't like me. But what is it? You don't get nothing? I don't like ice cream. That's not my... It's... What? You're there. Because you're, you, you, then she gets to have you, a bite of yours. It's not all about you, Kevin. <laughs> what, 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 what? No. Listen, I, I would rather spend those calories having beers. I'd rather have a cocktail after dinner. Did you get the number of the kid in front of you? Maybe we're going to have him here. in here. I hang out with him. Sure. You'd be kidding me. Fucking bother him all day. Here's a sample at least. Tried something. That's even trashier to get a sample and not eat it. I've had it. I just don't eat ice cream every fucking three days. Okay. That's normal. But this hey, seems like it could have been a nice little treat. You know what the treat was? 
fucking beers and, I bet you and the, heaters I bet after you, the, 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 the ice cream. I bet you for her, it's a nice treat if you get it, too. You can try hers. She can try yours. Okay. Uh, but sure. go ahead. No, because now you're not on my. You're, now you, I'm on your no, side. No, you're not. You're, yes, I'm already I am. The enemy. You already invited the guy I don't like to come to the show. You don't like him. Well, how? how what is the my my what question? Tell what is what the happened. acceptable amount of flavor testing? I mean, I don't know. At a place like that, listen, where we come from, there. But there's there's people behind you, and I will give you that he did offer. But there's at least when we started another one or two people behind. There's a line. Where we come from, no eye contact and give me whatever's cheapest. One or two, you know? I mean, what are you doing? I, one or two. I feel like three max. Three max. Three max. Three max. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Because it's not like, I mean, when you you have an idea of what you're you kind of going to do. You got to be in the world. You got to be, what be are you in the mood for. You got to be between two or three. I'll give you three. Something vanilla-y, I mean, chocolatey, something fruity, something, you know, you, you have, I don't know, but people are assholes. Seven. The number was seven. Oh, Each? No, him. Together. Oh, no, he had seven. I think she had one. I was not concentrating on her at all. Now, was he going around with the questions and... Well, what's that? He would do one at a time. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, you don't think Next so. Next one. Mm. First of all, they're then all... He was go then he was going, Maybe. Maybe that. Well, like he was put in another pile. Now, well, 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 let's table that and come back to it. What are you fucking And I had with? about five IPAs in me, so I was a little angry. Who's this guy, Lenny Briscoe? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, man? I know. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I'll give you... Seven's a lot. Seven's a lot. Three's, seven's a lot. Three's a lot. Seven's a lot to do to the fucking guy, guy behind the counter. No, kid, no seven. care for the guy. No care for the guy. Because mention those poor sea turtles throwing all these tiny spoons in the ocean. <laughs> I know. Um, they are not nice little Coke spoons. <laughs> for I've seen it in movies. You ever see a snapper on Coke? <laughs> um, the way I look at that, I, I mean, I'm a fat pig. and But there's a courtesy involved. I, it's well established that I'm the kind of guy that... I mean, I'll take anything, really. You, you know what I mean? Sure. So, like, I could just go in there blind. What do you like? Unless you're like, I hate rhubarb. Don't give me the rhubarb. Which I do. Yeah, I don't think I a lot of people It doesn't like add it. a lot to it. Mm -hmm. My mom brought a cherry rhubarb pie home one time by mistake. We really crucified her. It was really just bad. I don't even know what rhubarb is. It's rude to be not fucking mean to your mom when she tries to get you to say, The hell is this? Patty! How many times I gotta tell you? I don't like rhubarb. Start shaking her keys. Like, you got somewhere to go? Yeah, get me a blue. You better hurry up. They close in fifteen minutes. I'll call and tell them to fucking leave the light on for you. <laughs> Otherwise, I go into school tomorrow with a black eye. <laughs> Seven's a lot. Seven's dude. too many. I would say it's three. Yeah, three's three's Be good. Because at a certain number, it feels like you're trying. What to does dickhead get? I don't you remember? remember. No, I was so I was seeing blind. It was red because I was seeing red. How long are we talking? How long did this take? Uh, Five minutes? No, minutes, minutes. But there's. Uh, he did give you the out though. But then there were still people behind them, like behind me. Like there's a constant flow of people coming in. Yeah. And you're jam so you're jamming them up, and you're also jamming the guy. The guy's in the weeds. Now he's got a line that's fucking. Was the growing. guy officially in the weeds? He was on the border of the weeds. Hmm. Plus, I mean, seven free samples. Now you're fucking with his bottom line. I know. That's enough. Which, hey, listen, if it was a big corporation, Costco, whatever, ransack the joint. Take fucking, you know, take costumes, put a fake mustache on, go get more and more and more. They want, they, they got to give those out. Seven, that's like a small. He already got, <laughs> he's there already got a free cup. <laughs> That is. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's trashy behavior in my book. Yeah. I do respect the Patty out. was not big on the trying it when we were kids. We were not allowed. You got one, maybe. Maybe. And it had to be like fucking. It had to be new or something. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> it had to be something you ain't never heard of before. Yeah. Had to be something off the wall. Yeah. We weren't trying the fucking strawberry. Mm -mm. You know? I, I, yeah, no, it had to be fucking. Dippin' Dots, maybe you could trust something like Never that. Never had them. If they were give, it's one. It's different if they're giving out samples. If they got a tray of samples, you can ransack that. Ransack it all you want. Let's but the guy's got to take the lid off, fucking scoop in, hand it. All right, and then the, the ball, and then he does the palate. The balls of like, mm, I don't think so. For a fucking scoop of ice cream, come on, dude. Gelato. Whatever. <laughs>
That's that, that's up there with someone who tries the wine and then sends it back to me. Like that's who's doing the, okay, that? But is that I don't know. That's not I don't live in that We've world. We've talked about this. That yeah, that doesn't work. You can't do that. That that's why that's all bullshit. That's why when they try to do that when I'm at dinner, my, the bird gets mad at me because I'm like, first of all, if we order the wine after we order, okay, you're a, you got a, you got a big thing with this though. You do. We got drinks, so just open the wine and leave it on the table. That's all you got to do. I'll we'll I'll pour it when we're ready to have dinner. You don't got to. He's fuck. already tense talking about I, it. You're talking to him like he's the goddamn help. <laughs> 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 Fucking don't touch my bottle of wine. It's not that. It's I don't want. I, you're not using me as the spectacle. All right, I'm not the hood of the car at the fucking state fair because we were at this place one time and it was like a cheap bottle of wine and they try to do the fucking decanter. Everyone's looking at us. I'm like, you don't got to do that. But the only way you can send the wine back is if it's corked. And if it's corked, everyone's going to know because the cork's going to be fucked up. The wine's going to taste like shit. It's going to look weird. You can't just say, oh, no, I don't like this. And then they have a bottle of wine that they only sell I'm not, by the bottle, not by the glass. Can, can, I, I'm, 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 I understand etiquette wise, but can you say, no, I don't want it if it's not cool? I don't think so. I mean, then what's the point? You're going to get a lot of pushback. Right. That's well, what I'm assuming. And, and, but like, and, no, and, no, and no one knows anything about wine to be like, well, the notes of this and that. And sure. I'm just saying, this. let's live in that world. You can't just say, I don't like it. Let's live in that world where this person who's ordering this bottle of wine has no qualms doing that. This same dickhead. This fucking punk kid. It's probably this fucking punk kid who's going to strike out on this date. Is there a. Is there Did a, she get any samples? I, you asked me. I think, well, nothing to the point. Uh, standard, if any. If, if any. Standard one, two. What a fucking. I like the kid. Saying, go ahead ahead of us. I t- and I thought I was like, oh, no, buddy, take your time. I was more offended for the guy working than me. I got nowhere to go. Sure. I'm drunk. I got a pack of heaters sure. in my pocket. I'm going, you're putting this, you're making this guy jump through hoops. Yeah, so, to you sell can you look, to s- so you can look like a fucking aficionado in front of your fucking. Also, that makes you look like a bozo. In front if of the runaway to, you're in here with. If you're trying to, because <laughs> girl, you found at the Greyhound station. <laughs> Try to impress her with some gelato. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. Yeah. I, I, to me, it's more like, one, you're embarrassing yourself in front of what seemed to be an early relationship. Yeah. You go, yeah, I'll tell you how. I'll taste one. Oh, you're, I'll taste what you're tasting. I'll take the job. I'd love to get a lady's opinion on that. Is that something that would bother a lady? Of like, if, if you were on a if date. If you were out with somebody. I'm sure that's a big. And I'm they got sure se- that's and it. And went to a gelato place and they got seven samples, which this is a big thing. You know what I mean? This what? has been going on. I mean, people abusing the samples. Sure. You know. But like I said, if there's a tray of samples, abuse it all day long. Rip these corporate scumbags off for sure. Do that. But this poor guy shucking fucking gelato. Yeah. You ever scoop ice cream? No. no. I have, but not in, not in front of the scene, behind the scene. At like Bear Burger, we had to make shakes and stuff. It ain't easy. No, you get that's those, hard. You get those forearms, dude. It's hard. <laughs> and when you have to do it under pressure in front of fucking people, especially when they're being fucking pricks about it, it it's it ain't easy. What'd you find out about the wine? <laughs> uh, so can I send the next one back? <laughs> so the what, what I found. I would never. I, I relax. So this oh. is this is a pretty extensive article. I took a whole bottle of white wine to my head in fucking Indy because I ordered the wrong wine. Yeah, don't act like that's a punishment. <laughs> what the fuck? I had to chug a whole bottle of wine to make an ass out of myself. Yeah, oh, fuck. No. Uh, this says, what you are not doing is tasting the wine to see if it's just right for you tonight. Yes. The only acceptable reason to reject wine is faultiness. Full stop. So if it takes corky or or it's it's gone bad. Please. Yes. Otherwise, you just you have to say, yes, I'm taking it. You take the hit. You go, oh, that sucks. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but a lot of people don't. They try to be fucking dickheads about it. That's why. And I'm not doing it to be a dick. I, I don't want <laughs> you to have. nice about I it. I don't want. No, I don't want you to, you and I to have to go through this fucking charade. Okay. Fucking pour her a glass. If there's no drinks, pour her a glass, pour me a glass. I don't need to taste it. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I know, but. I, and I got news for you. And neither do you. So, not you, specifically. This is all, this is all directed at me. This is also, that, that, that's such a funny sentence, because I've, I've been with you at multiple occasions at restaurants where you've been looking at wine and said out loud, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know what I'm Dude, doing. Dude, you try to throw it in my face all the time. I know what I'm doing to a degree. No. 
The no, fuck? I do. No. I worked in fine dining for fucking 15 years. You worked at Bear Burger. And you just said you don't know. That was at the end of my career. <laughs> those, are, those are my casual years. I was half retired at that point. <laughs> I just need to get out of the house. Something to do. So get out of the house. The wife's nagging me. <laughs> I have a general knowledge of wine. I'll you say ordered that. a red. You ordered a white wine thinking it was red. That's I, something I, I would do. I make mistakes. I, I admit. I admit. Okay. And I fucking housed it like a goddamn man. <laughs> I didn't go crying to the fucking server working on All a right, Sunday night. No one night. said that. No one said that. But also at the same time of like, that's that guy's job. Mm. Whether you like this is awful. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be Poland Spring. <laughs> At the same time, tasting wine. Shut up. That's that guy's job. Whether you're entering into a social con, you're the only one going. Don't the, do this. The whole sommelier. Thing. Yeah, that's their job. And you're going to a nicer restaurant, and you're ordering a bottle of wine, where someone's going to come over and tell you about the bottle of wine. That's the rub, baby. That's the. Those are the tricks. That's I also. What it I, is. I don't believe in decantering unless it's a certain amount of money, which I'm not fucking getting. I know, but you buy a thousand dollars, a thousand dollar bottle of wine that's fucking twenty years old. Sure, you want to get some air into it. I know, but that's also like you're go. You're. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying you're. The, that's that guy's job to go here and like this is this is a service we provide for the people that buy bottles of wine. So you can't get like your feathers ruffled when they when they try to do their job at the same time. You know what I mean? But that argument could go back to the fucking kid po- scooping the ice cream. That's part of his job, and you got your feathers ruffled. Aha! No, that's yes, that's not part of his job. Part of his job is to give samples. Yeah, unfortunately, that. that Somalia's job is to pour your wine. That's his job. And that so, is his job. But you see my argument. No, it'd be one thing if you asked him to sample the wine. And that's seven times. Yeah. Which I wouldn't do. I don't think you can sample the wine. Like, <laughs> you know, shoot. I think you piggyback a fucking <laughs> a couple boilermakers. <laughs> Someone a cab chaser. You get three fingers of Pinot, huh? No, that is the his main job. I understand. This is an auxiliary thing to the the scooper. A courtesy job. that uh, that uh, the ice that cream it, scooper does. Yes. I don't need to be doing this. What? The ice cream scooper would say that. Yeah. But he does. But he's got him. He's got fucking. <clears throat> Man. He's got to get his weed money, you know. Seven. I wish you knew what he got. Yeah, I don't know. I was furious. I was mm. the perfect amount of drunk and uh, baffled by this. Yeah, a little bit of a dickhead move. Gang, this is Helix Mattresses. Ooh, baby. Let's talk about it. I jerked off on one last night. At my house? <laughs> <laughs> you were sleeping on the couch. Gang, we love Helix over here. Mm-hmm. You don't got to go to a mattress store. You go online now. You take the quiz. You find out how you sleep, whether you sleep on your side, your back, hot, cold, small, big, whatever you got, they got you covered over there. Take the quiz. Takes two, three minutes. Find out what the optimal mattress is for you, and they send it right to your door. Yeah. Uh, if you don't get enough sleep, it can throw the whole Jam week out of up. whack, dude. You're trying to catch up, blah, blah, blah. Mental health breaks down. Trust me. A good night's sleep or kippies in a mood. Turn it around. I got the Twilight mattress. It's fantastic. I got about two or three of them. I got I got them in a new house. I got the Cali King. Ooh, let's go. Uh, Helix knows there's no better way to test a mattress than actually get it and use it in your home. That's why they offer a hundred night free trial. That's, crazy. That's nuts. Uh, and a ten to fifteen year warranty to test things out. Whether you're a side sleeper, back sleeper, run hot or run cold, Helix has something for you, baby. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for all you garbage listeners, gang. Go to helixsleep.com slash garbage. That's helixsleep.com slash garbage. This is their best offer yet. It won't last long with Helix. Better sleep starts now. Do it. Kibby, you like that bespoke post? Ooh, baby. Shout out to the box that keeps on giving. Yeah, the box of awesome is what we're talking about, gang. You like doing cool guy stuff? You like having cool guy gear? Mm-hmm. Falls coming around the corner. Nice pocket knife. Some stuff for camping. Mm-hmm. Some stuff for the bar. Some nice grooming stuff. They got you covered with that box of awesome. Mm-hmm. 90% of everything that comes in your box of awesome is from a small up-and-coming brand. Each box is valued at, at seven, around 7 dollars but you pay a fraction of that price mm-hmm. getting started so is uh, easy peasy just take the quiz at boxofawesome.com your answers help them pick the right box for you 
Like we said, they send me everything. I got knives. I got bar stuff. I'm making smoke cocktails. I'm, I got cool stuff for my car, camping, a bar, whatever you need. New boxes are released every month and across a ton of different categories. So whether you're into bartending, camping, box of awesome has something you'll love. It's totally free to sign up. You can skip a month at any time. Get 20% off your first monthly Ooh. box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com. Enter the code garbage at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com. Code garbage for 20% off your first box. Boxofawesome.com. Code garbage. Now back to the show. Back to the show. In that same vein, uh huh, uh, just a reverse side of it. Uh, <laughs> you got any? You got any gelato on you? I got it. I go to the deli counter uh, at my at my local grocer on Sunday to get a little brujuta de Parma. All right, little brujuta. Okay, thin slice. This is how how we take it in the Foley household. Do usually, they do thick slice. That's all usually pretty thin. Who does of Parma ham? What? Parma ham? Like, do people do it thin? Uh, no, I'm saying it's always it's bacon. At that no, point. I'm saying it's always thin. Yeah, but you say thin. You still say thin. Okay. I don't know this kid. You might not know what the fuck he's doing. Let me get. Let me get. A, let me get an oinker though. It's on those Olympics. But this guy comes up, and this is what he does. You ready? I'm just gonna show you. Doesn't say hey whatever. Just comes up. Oh, the tap on the table. Hang on. You ready? I didn't know what he was doing. Because I was in a good mood. Oh, that's an Ozempic burp. And he goes. <laughs> he's leaning in with the ear over the counter. And I'm like, the fuck. Is-? I thought he was like looking at something. Tapping. Does that. And he goes, you want something? Ooh. Oh, wait. He's on the other side of the counter. He's the guy. He's I- the fucking slicer. I thought he was on your side. I no. said, Okay. I thought he was a jerk off customer being like, what do you want? No. Or what can I get? No. This guy came over. I would have said something. That guy came over and, whoa. Yeah. Having a rough day, I guess. Back sure. There. Been there. Yeah. No hi, how you doing? No hi, how you doing? What can I get you? I, I just, I was just so taken aback. I didn't want to be like, be like, let me get a, because I didn't know that I was getting the. Let th- me get seven samples. <laughs> 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 let me try the boar's head. Let me try the deets and watts, a couple of blazing buffalo. And then you go, no, nah, I don't want anything. <laughs> Just making a sandwich yeah, you on got top. Two, <laughs> you got two slices of bread. No, you know what? I don't want nothing. <laughs> What's the profile on that American cheese? Uh, the yellow. Yeah, it gives me that. Real tood. <sighs> Sure. Set me back a little bit. Now, let me ask you this. Ask us, T-Bone. Have you ever done the grocery store beverage sample? I'm talking about slugging a little bevy and then popping it back on the shelf as you're cruising. No. What are you drinking, warm soda? No, you can pull from the thing. In that's, front? But that's tough because you're going up by that. You're flying by the tower. You're you're flying by all the staff, grabbing a pet. No one's watching, though, as, a, as a cashier. That's fucked up. Do you do that? Not in years, but I have. Especially those like uh, lemon ginger shooters, I'll get myself a little, <laughs> a little, a little immunity boost. <laughs> you stealing hippie? I'm going to the frozen food section. It's freezing over there. I don't want to catch a cold. Huh? Now, now never stole. From never a big stealer. One or two things as, as young and dumb, but you, you know, never, never, never. I always, there, I've said this before. I have such, I would have so much shame getting caught, and then also like my parents of being like. You're stealing fucking whatever. I've told you, but man, two kids in high school, these two twins, fucking my senior year, their junior year, their mom got popped in the grocery store stealing lunch meat. Yo, it was tough. Man, it was tough. They were jammed up, though. I had a kid. Uh, I knew a kid in we high ridiculed school. ridiculed them, but still. Yeah, I mean, hey, you got to you do your it builds character at that point. Uh, uh, I had a kid stealing credit cards. All right. Uh, he like worked somewhere and people would call it like, it was like a smaller, it wasn't like a hotline. It was like, I'm making this up a local florist or something. And people mm-hmm. were like, yeah, put it on my credit card. And he would write down the number, then take it and just put like 20 bucks of gas here. You know, Hey, then he was started being like, Hey, give me 50 bucks. I'll fill up your tank. If it costs 80 bucks or, you know, started skimming. That's working. But then all these card charges were like, what the, f-? somebody was just like, Oh, they've all been charged in somebody linked it to, together to Jenny's flowers. And then they they had on him on like every fucking uh, gas station video, just like filling people's <laughs> things up. I was like, damn, <laughs> we were like fucking sixteen too. All right, he's going for it. I like a nice florist. You send flowers. Uh, well, luckily my wife's not a big flower gal. Not I, to her, but to other people. What? It's nice to send flowers. Who, my Gumar. <laughs> Who else am I sending flowers to? Who? <laughs> 
Who besides my wife? Who would I be sending flowers to? I don't know. I've sent flowers in the last couple of months. To who? Uh, my ma, my cousin, a couple people send flowers. Okay. I sent you some flowers. Yeah, no. It's nice. You? No, only a lady I was dating, I Porkin? guess. Porkin? <laughs> well, I wouldn't call it that. You want Parma Hammond? <laughs> Slice thick. God, damn. <laughs> hey, beat me to it. Mm. Kid's good. Um, I would, uh, yeah, no. I, I have a couple times, but never, uh, it's not her, her cup of tea. Yeah, flowers are nice. Sure. I was never big on it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I feel like the only time my dad, my st- dad or stepdad would get them for my mom or my stepmom would be, val- like the standard Valentine's Day birthday sure. anniversary. Sure, you know. Gotcha. Later on, gonna need the name of that gelato place. Sure, for sure. Just to check it out, just so I get a better it understanding. It would, it would, fucking blow your tits off. It's good. I mean, are we talking about like unrecognizable flavors? Would you say? What do you mean? Like. Where you have to try it. Like wasabi or something. Yeah, shit like that. Like, is I, that kind of what we're talking? I mean, seven still fucking That's too egregious. many. It's, uh, listen, I know Especially you're- Especially for a busy night. Just fucking get something, dickhead. Try it out and come back. You know what I mean? Send a probe out. Yeah. Yeah. But they're good. They're real good. All right. <laughs> Whatever, gang. This is a goddamn family episode. I'm trying to be talking about gelato here. We got a goddamn program to do. <laughs> we guys, and you know when you sign up for the Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on the air. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just the best way to do it. We get a lot of submissions, but as always, the fucking homies get the first fucking crack at Shout it. Shout out to them. So let's get into it. This one's from Big O. Shout out to you. Uh, since summer's about to be over, I'm waiting until next summer to fix my car's AC. Lol jammed up. <laughs> I respect that. That's a That's a... See, yeah, you don't need that for, you can kick that can down the road nine months. Sure. Right? Why? I mean, ACs aren't cheap either, right? Uh, they, it depends what it is. It's got to be like a jihad, I feel. Hmm. A radiator, something like that. It could just be out of Freon. That ain't that much. Yeah, yeah, but a lot of, I mean, yeah. But still. Get that car detailed at least. Because you've been sweating all oh, over yeah. those seats, throw, dude. Throw an air freshener in <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, you went through the whole summer. That's good thinking, T-Bone. Spend the money wisely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So just do something. You, you don't have to replace the whole thing, but make it, make it, make it presentable. Get some of that Zonos or whatever it was called in there. Remember the Noos or yeah. Noas? Yeah, that really hit the weed scene hard. Ozium. 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 Yeah, it smelled like oranges. It was all right. I mean, yeah. At first, when I was banging, this is fucking mid nineties. You had to know somebody that worked at a fucking car wash to get it. It was not fucking on the street. Not streets. for retail sale. No, that was in. You had to have a license. Or you something. had to have. You had. You had to have. You had to know somebody that worked at a car wash to get it, and it made a world of difference. Mm-hmm. Better than the fucking paper towel through the air freshener. Spoof, spoofing it. Spoofing yeah, spoofing it. Yeah, I don't think we ever had a name for that it. stuff. Steamrolling right. it or something like that. Maybe we called it. That would fucking. Man, an RA wouldn't know what to do. It smells like oranges. Hey, what's there was a thing uh, a friend of mine, uh, a friend of the show, found out. Uh, we would smoke weed in his room, and uh, you could just, and I would be curious for people to try this now because it sounds crazy. You just take a normal hit, and then, you know, like, you, we called it ghosting it. You kind of hold it till it disappears. Sure. And then, like, blow a little bit of it out, you know. Also known as zeroing. Zero. It's like, yeah, we can smoke in the house. You just got to ghost it type thing and, like, blow the remnant, whatever's left, out the window, you know, something. But they would blow it into the his the mattress of his bed, and, like, the mattress would just absorb, like, all the foam and stuff just fucking. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Why does your bed smell like Cypress Hill? Yeah. <laughs> just taking rips from the bar. That's pretty good. You open the door, you just hear the bubbler sound. <laughs> Yeah, you just they would go bed it, and then like we were probably like fifteen or whatever, and you just go, <sighs> and it would just never come out. That's pretty good. That's not bad. It ain't bad. Oh, man, that or a pillow, I think would work, or something like that. I don't think a pillow's tight. I'm I'm sure it helps, but I don't think a pillow's tight enough. You know? Sure. I don't know. Couch cushion would be perfect. Same thing. Same thing as a bed. You know. <sighs> 
Then your dad flops down oh, on it like, what the fuck? And you got reefer ass. <laughs> <laughs> the hell'd you eat? Walking around smelling like the dang dang. <laughs> Re- reefer butt. <laughs> Ooh, you got reefer butt. Ooh, girl, you got that reefer butt. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see here. Um, this one, this is from Cold Pizza Chris. Ten dollar homie never had one red. Cold Pizza Chris is all right. CPC's all right. Yeah. Uh, is it garbage if you bring your own red pizza delivery bag? Amazon purchase when you pick up takeout food because you live in a rural area and get sick of your food being cold by the time you get home. Man, pro move. I like it. Pro move. But what? Uh, what I like, like even, can we clap, dude? Like, yeah, that's crazy. Some fucking, that's come fucking on, genius. Come on, that's tight. That's nice. <laughs> we did hear something. You work here? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Pick up for Zach. <laughs> Uber Eats for Zach. My thing is, uh, someone did mention this before. They were an Uber Eats or like a seamless driver, and you get a bag. Because mm-hmm. I got the bag. You get like a whole thing when I was doing the box bag. The what box? was I doing? Seamless, or I think I was doing seamless or DoorDash. Door, I was doing DoorDash. They send you like a DoorDash hat, a red T-shirt, and the food. Did you bag. wear that stuff? No, it got there late. Oh, God, and a gun to end it all. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> dude, you know what somebody said? Someone said for one of the Patreon, it was so good for one of the Patreon for one of the next Patreon goals. I should have to reopen my DoorDash account and do all the deliveries with me and him, and just mic the fucking car. I will one hundred percent do that with you. We'll just we'll just go to a town in Jersey. But wouldn't we scare people if two guys walked up to the house? No. A lot of times you just leave it and take the picture when I was doing it. <laughs> One time I got to an Uber and the lady who was supposed to be driving was in the passenger seat and her boyfriend was driving. Oh, that happens a lot. Yeah, happens out a of lot. dude, out of New York, that happens a lot. We were in Atlanta, I got McDonald's. You remember I it was it was these a car full of dudes smoking a blunt rolled up and handed me my bag that for sure had been gone through. <laughs> like the sticker wasn't seen. It was like crumbled up at the top. They were like, here you go, bro. I'm like, fuck. Sweet and sour, man, huh? <laughs> I was like, I still eat the nuggets. <laughs> hmm, that's all right. But um, the move is you turn the oven on and you heat, when you heat it up, get it real crispy. It's great. It's great. I don't like that. You don't like that? I've never done it. I don't see the reason to do it. Like, what, saying, what is it, a pizza, or are you talking about anything? No, if you get the pizza back and, it, and it's you, it, it's a little lukewarm, you throw it in the oven, crank it up, get it real crispy. Maybe. Yeah. I'm not I'm not against it. I just, that's not my not my vibe. Listen, Chris knows what he's doing. Yeah, well, Chris, I'm not, gonna, I'm not, that, I'm that not going against that. That guy's splitting the garbage at him out yes. there. That's amazing. Yes. The That's forethought genius. of how many times do you think he fucking sat there like, man, fuck, I can just and then realize I can just buy this fucking bag. Mm-hmm. Remember when Domino's, I don't know if they still did it, but they had the one that would plug into the car and keep it at like it plugged into the cigarette outlet. Keep it smoking and hot. Keep, it was, not only did it just retain the heat, it fucking it was they've like a gone little, through so many ways, which they've, I respect. They've they never stop trying. No, they don't. And That's I genuinely respect Domino's for that. They go. We're trying to make the. We're trying to get it to you quicker, as better, and everything as possible. You see what they're doing now? They have like they can drive you anywhere on the. If you have the app, they'll deliver to any point. They'll come out to like the side of a fucking intramural baseball game. No kidding. As long as you can drop the point in the map, they'll they'll meet you in the they'll park. Get they'll, you. they'll whatever. And don't, are they starting to have their own cars now? Where it's like a Domino's mobile. Where in the back they have like almost like pizza warmers or ovens. Hundred percent. Really, right? dude. I never thought about this until now. Domino's stays innovative. Dude, come on. <laughs> they are they really do. They're they, the best. That that tracker, wildly accurate. So, yeah. so accurate. Yeah, it's all I right. like knowing it's going in the oven. Mm-hmm. Pizza Hut ain't doing that. I don't think so. No. Also, I have such one. I love, obviously, but I have Pizza one. Hut should make a hard turn and just fucking reopen the restaurants and just fucking I give it a shot. And see what happens. I don't disagree. The nostalgia thing. Nostalgia is big. Everybody's doing the nostalgia. So many people. I would go just for the fucking nostalgia of it. But I think that's going to be a lot put, of money. You put four in the tri-state. They got it. They got cash. But dude, Pizza Hut's not worried about four locations in the tri-state area. Try it out. Give me a fucking test market. I Sure. There's some that are still open. We've I know. Talked about it. I know. But they don't talk about it. They don't advertise them. That's how you fucking beat Domino's. Are, are, can you because look- let me tell you something. Then you start fucking selling. Now, now yeah, everybody go, wants it. If I it. go to a pizza and have it, I go, oh, I forgot how good this is. 
let's order that next time. Like, if we're on the road and you're jammed up if you have the option. Can you see if Pizza Hut's are franchisees or if they're all, I don't think so. I think all they're owned. owned. Domino's are. Domino's are probably franchises. But there's got to be something from a business standpoint of where they all just go as, like, the, the takeouts. You know what I mean? That's probably the, that's the money maker. There's a new guy creeping up. Mel's or Mike's? Pizza Hut is, a fran- is franchises. Really? Are they? Maybe that's why they're not doing it. Well, maybe they that's weren't right. back in the day. They weren't franchised and they started franchising. But you know how we feel about franchises. Killer. Oh, you know what? It, well, Killer uh, of a corporation. What was the uh, franchise that kept hitting me up in your name? Remember? It was like a Salad Works or something like that. I started seeing them. They're popping up. Oh, I'm not going to remember what that was. Was it Crazy Moe's or something like that? Maybe. Um, I don't remember. Fuck. But there's a new pizza. Like it, it, it can cost you up to $2.1 million to open up your pizza franchise. Oh, no, it's wild. And you need to have more money and assets in the bank in case that fails that they then take. It's crazy. See if Domino's own, or see if Pizza Hut owns any of their stores. They, I'm sure they, have, they own some of them, too. Like it's a corporate one. Uh, nothing really listen that would be now you can't fucking bang people over the head either you gotta fucking you gotta keep teriyaki madness Ah. yes (laughs) i saw one on route one not too long ago yeah yeah should go in and try it out go in you're working there (laughs) (laughs) you son of a bitch well that's how that's how Shaq got us at bear burger Shaq came in Uh, with like 30 people Sat down, ordered everything, literally everything, and said, I'm thinking about opening one of these fucking on the house. Of course. Did he end up getting into it? I don't think so. Ah, what a scam. That's what I'm saying. We go into teriyaki madness and say, yeah, we're. I'm that guy you've been emailing. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. We're thinking about franchising. I'm a local. We wanted to come in and see what you see what (laughs) you got. This is my partner, H.W. Foley. (laughs) (laughs) We go town to town, open up franchises. He's a teriyaki man. (laughs) I'm telling you, man, Pizza Hut. You can't bang people out, though. You get the cups. You get the crushed ice. I'm in. I'm in. Get the salad bar back up to some degree. Mm Mm-hmm. Totally in. Pan pizza. Uh, All right. Put some people to work. What are we doing here? Be fucking awesome. A Friday night. That place would be fucking mobbed. You could do it in one of the parking lots of the malls. How all the, you know, the Bonefish Grills and the fucking BF Jangs. If they did like a big one. Dude, it would be fucking packed. Throw a couple of fucking arcade games, maybe a claw machine up front. They used to serve do beers the hostess. too, which was great. Really? Oh, yeah. Pitchers, right? Pitchers, and I think I would always yeah. remember my dad getting a Michelob. Oh. Was it beer with or the Michelob? Fo- with the foil top? Man. Chuck E. Cheese serves beer. Yeah, that's why a lot of fights happen. Yeah, a lot of trouble. Yeah, there was a, Minnesota, the number one place for bar fights for like three years running was some Chuck E. Cheese in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> People going without kids. Just walking in, cracking their knuckles and shit. All right, let's go. Yeah. Bring it back. We could get back there. We could. We really mm-hmm. could. Um, all right, let's see this. Uh, this one's from Bumping Into Bitches. Damn, that's a deep cut. Uh, first time cashing in my $10 homie chip. There you go. This is a, we were just talking about this. Is it garbage to hit up a Costco for free samples on your lunch break when you're hemmed up between checks? Completely respect it. Yes. Costco, it's for the taking. It's laid out there. They want you to take it. That's totally fine. And that's the whole motto of the, the guy that started Costco. Like, when they wanted to raise the price of the hot dogs or the pizza or whatever it was, he shut them down. He said, no. Myth. Really? Yeah, that just came out. Yeah. Damn. It's what's known in the biz as a loss leader. Yes. It's because not everything in Costco is a good deal. But some you can get good deals there, but not everything is. Mm-hmm. But they want you to think, man, we walk right in, you see that hot dog deal, you go, man, everything in here is a deal. I'm getting 65 boxes of mac and cheese. Ooh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's the same thing they do at Walmart is they do like... You're looking at a $10 toaster, a $20 toaster, and a $30 toaster, or whatever it is, you know, and you're like, well, I don't, I'm not going to get the most expensive one. I'm not a fucking Rockefeller, but I don't want this fucking $10 piece of shit. I'm going to get the $20 toaster, and that $20 toaster is the same price as the $10 toaster. Mm. So you're just fucking giving them an extra 10 beans in their pocket. Damn. That's how they get you. Yeah. They but I, don't th- I still don't think Costco minds that. 
No, they want they want because you're a cost. You're, you're gonna be a cost when that check clears. You're coming to Costco. They want you'd assume they want you on the lot. They if you're in there, they're gonna if you're in there from every once two three days, once a week, once a month. They're getting their money's worth. They don't care. Yeah, keep because then you're walking around going, oh, when my check clears, fucking getting that. You know, it's always chicken patties is what they're giving away. Man. Some type of frozen breaded chicken. Love a CP. Sure. Did I ever tell you when I was in college, my mom was. It's forgotten. It's been forgotten. It's been. We yeah. talked about it after the Weaver, the Blue Weaver box. Yeah, I think we were Tyson. <laughs> um, Red. We were. Yeah, we were. No, we were. A, we were a Weave family. Um, do you remember Market Day? What? My school never did it, but I remember other people doing it, or like softball teams, or it was like a fundraising thing, like a catalog fundraising thing. We had a bunch that, of shit like that. We did Easter candy. Yeah, and you would get like the there would be like a Christmas book, and you order like, hey, I'm gonna order four fucking Whitman samplers, and I'm giving. Isn't it weird that they had us doing that? You shit? know what? Oh, this is so that weird. That always gave me a headache. You know what they're doing they, now? What? I got. I just got a text from my nephew. What? I'm like a number seven two nine eight four seven four. I've gotten that for. Hey, here's a link for so and so for this school. Can you donate or buy something from the store? And I'm like, so I sent a screenshot. I sent it to my sister. I'm like, is this fucking? Is this some sort of scam or something? She's like, nah, that's legit. That's what they do now instead of like the school stores or the fundraisers. Yeah, I do get that. S- sniffed them. Sure. Um, that was uh, that always gave me a headache because I was so impressionable that they suckered me in. They would be. They would bring in an adult, like some salesman, would come into an assembly, with like the short sleeve shirt and the tie, and give you the full pitch, and give you the full pitch, and talking about candy, and he'd have samples of the candy, and showing you pictures of the candy, and go get your parents to buy the candy, and Bubba, you're go sitting home. there like I could call Aunt Sue and Uncle and Bill, and they would do it at like seven days period when you're starving and you're fucking crashing from lunch. You know what I mean? You're almost out the door, yeah. and then you go Next home. Thing you know you're involved in a boiler room. <laughs> <laughs> you just got a bunch of phones in the basement. <laughs> I'm doing a pump and dump. I'm my fucking oh. aunt who's on a fixed income. <laughs> I know. Could you? Could I get you to the ten dollar pledge? Do you think, Aunt Sue? I mean, Jesus Christ! No, I know. Don't do it, man. You're all hopped up on Minotaur. Minotaur. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't it seem like that was fucked up to do? Like, you're supposed to be educated. I guess you're teaching us how the world works. <laughs> sure. Hey, <laughs> rule number one, if you can't mark, if you can't spot the whale in the first five minutes of the game, you're the whale. <laughs> Fucking, you're the mark, baby. Man, what the fuck, dude? Dude. Uh, they had us doing, you, an hour you got us doing this shit? Out there, they got kids, kids pedaling their fucking merch. <laughs> that guy was getting a cut. Where'd that sure. money go? Where did that money go? It's all a pyramid scheme. It probably was. I don't remember ever seeing a dime of that. No, I think it was like, you know. It goes back into the school district. That's what, that's what the fucking parents. That's a goddamn public school. We're paying fucking taxes for that. A lot of taxes, I know. The fuck? Um, Who's getting that money? The superintendent? I don't know. It's crazy um, when you look back and think. But we do this thing market day. I never had it. And it might came across my mom's plate when she was some girl she worked with. Her daughter's, I don't know, softball team, a high school was doing it. Was same thing. Like, you go through, but they had frozen foods. Okay, right? so we, for a long time. <laughs> oh, this is going to be trashy, whatever it is. Oh, there's a frozen pizza company out of, out of Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, that, that I've mentioned to you before. Uh, I want to say Nardone's or Mom's. Nardone's or, or something. Yes. I, and isn't this like a, you got to be a licensed dealer or something to I, it? I don't know. but There's we, some. No, uh, but when those things came around, those things sold themselves. There was no catalog. There was no nothing. This, no, I think it was this, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. There was a thing. There was like, I don't know if it was like an authorized dealer or you had to have a license, like the money was in the licensing or something. But those things would come across once or twice a year and yeah. you'd go like, I'll take 10. I don't know if it was a fundraiser or just. Nobody ever saw the money. No, I don't know where any of the money went. Nobody ever saw a fucking dime. I never got a cut. I don't know what the fuck we were selling the pizzas for. But it was nuts. Those things moved. Oh, yeah. A couple of fat kids with Zaz. Man, Man. forget about it. They were, we were waiting on them. Girl Scout cookies I get. Um, I didn't like waiting on them, though. 
You know what I mean? I was at a wait on. Oh, like I bought the weeks. instant gratification. Yeah. I'd buy them from the bro- from the girls out the broads. I'd buy them. <laughs> <laughs> These hoes. You pull up in your shopping cart. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I'm in my go kart. Um, but yeah, you get them from the kids at the at the grocery store on the, the way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's um, gone. That's gone in the car. Those those caramel ones. <sighs> Tagalongs. Oh no. We called them something different when we were kids. They're called Samoas when we were kids. Samoas, right? yeah, with the coconut. Yeah. You don't, you're not allowed to call them that anymore, which makes sense. Samoans. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, they call them caramel crunches or something like that now. Dude, but this fucking, this market day, I was in college. Oh, yeah. What? I don't understand. So it was like. It was, it's a catalog with frozen foods. I get They had a bunch of stuff. I never saw the catalog. My uh, mom was trying to support. This girl or whatever. And um, my mom goes, hey, I got a bunch of this food. It was like, dude, they were individually packed fucking boneless, skinless, <laughs> fatless chicken breast. And fucking pull two of them out, throw them right on the George Foreman. Fucking I would toast. Frozen? Yeah. Okay. I would toast fucking. Wait, you're in college? I mean, I'm living in a living like a fucking trap house. Okay, so there's an actual big fridge. You didn't have these in the college boy. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not fucking. No, you're in a, we're not allowed to have a George Foreman. Like good in fellas. <laughs> you got him in a footlocker with ice. <laughs> Flip's next to me sleeping with his eyes open. <laughs> Shout out to you, Flip. Uh, <laughs> I see you out there. <laughs> I see you, Ramon. <laughs> you take a walk in the yard. Dude. So it started with those, and then I was like, because she was like, oh, here's a box of completely individual. Like, there was no cooking, no fest, no smell, no tell scotch. You know what I mean? It was easy peasy. And then the next time I came home, she goes, I got you these. Dude, they were breaded chicken cutlets with a round thing of sauce, all frozen. I don't know how the sauce stayed. It was like a, imagine like a slice of provolone, but tomato sauce on top of that. And then a slice of provolone on top of that, all individually wrapped. Man, I'd take fucking one of those out of those packs, throw them in the microwave because you couldn't. I wasn't baking those. We didn't have a baking sheet. <laughs> throw those in the microwave on two fucking pieces of white bread. Dude, I must have ate 15,000 of those things. Dude, we couldn't keep them in. Man, I, my mom was, I'd call her like a week. She'd give me a box of 40. I'd call her a week later like, yo, I need to re-up to us. Fucking call the plug. Let's go. How long did market day last? I think she just started going. She just, I think my mom just started calling market day and getting them fucking shipped to the crib. Like Johnny Depp and Blow <laughs> started flying a Cessna <laughs> down to Mexico. <laughs> I'm on a Winnebago waving. <laughs> Woo! We did it. Hey, you're a good kid. Everybody gets three if, extra chicken palms. If you bought chicken palm in the 1990s, <laughs> you bought it from the peace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> holy shit, dude. Those I, I think about those honestly every three days. If I go, I get my hands on one of them right now, I'd be all right. Yeah, all Throw right. it out in the air fryer for fucking four minutes. Good night. The cheese would melt <laughs> to the point where it'd get like a little hard on the plate. Oh, it was fucking <laughs> man. I loved loved me some frozen chicken, boy. <laughs> 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 oh man! All righty, let's see here. Let's do a couple of more there. Um, this one's from Cougar Deb. Uh, is it garbage if you don't completely scrape the price tag from the bottom of your shoes? What I, the fuck? That's like you're getting. Those, <laughs> what are you talking about? You're getting them at Marshalls. <laughs> yeah, that's where that is. That's like, uh, I've done it for sure, and uh, I I have had it like three weeks later. Of like, you still see like. Fourteen ninety nine or whatever. Back can do it with dress shoes. Gotta let everybody know I don't got it. <laughs> <laughs> I put my feet up on every table. Back in the day, what was your procedure? Uh, how do I word this? Because I was, I always had anxiety of when I went in to clothes shop or sneaker shop. In my head, the first thing is, how much are they? Oh, a hundred percent. Now, did you have any hesitation of just going in and lifting up the tongue of the shoe and be like, oh, fuck this? Or yeah. did you always want to look like you could afford them if you wanted them? Yeah, for sure. That's my my first move is looking how much is it. Yeah, but you can't fucking, you know, you got to go, oh, these are cool. You do, maybe do a little flex okay, on so it. Okay, so you had that too. And then actively turn it and be like, oh, 188 Put that back down. <laughs> do you have anything in a discount rack? 
What's yeah. that, a waffle? So, <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a nine and a ten if that'll take a little off the. <laughs> Is there a cash price we can talk about? What do you got in the floor model? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah that's, well, you do uh, that on sneakers. Yeah, I still do that. You do. You take the floor. Well, now you go into. When they bring that box out and there's only one in there, you're like, ah, oh, fuck. You look back up at the fucking wall. Mustard and there on she it or is something. staring yeah. back at you. A little bit tinted from the sunlight. Mm -hmm. There was a big thing when I was in college, I want to say, uh, when shoes. That's like, at least for me, figure like early, mid 2000s. That's when shoes really started fucking becoming like such a thing. And a lot of these Philly, a lot of places in Philly, like Super Kicks. Kicks USA, they were all individually owned, but like, and they would get like these discount. It was like a, they would have like seven good pairs and then like 8,000 shitty pairs. Sure. And you would go and it would be like a pay less type thing of like, they'd all be there and then the boxes were under the thing and they did have like the nice Jordans or whatever. Man, I remember going in, I wanted a pair of white Converse's so bad in the summer and it was like, you know. They were 50 bucks. I didn't have it, or I probably had like 70 in my account. And I was like, I can't spend, you know. Got some slightly yellow ones. Dude, and there was mustard on this, on like the floor model. Like actual, like a fingerprint. Like somebody was probably eating a soft pretzel and put a fingerprint of mustard on it. And I was so close to buying it. And my friend was like, dude. Could you have gotten it off? No, it was in there. Okay. And he was also like, I'm not going to let you live this down. Like. The second you wear those to a party, I'm calling you out immediately. I was like, all right, fair enough. They get, did not buy shoes that day. Yeah, we had Sneaker King back in the day. Sneaker King? It was all right. It sounds all right. It was great. We used to have- It smelled like you were in one giant brand new sneaker like when that. you walked in there. Like that. Love that. Uh, we had Love that. Phil's shoes. That was like the one we went to in our town. Local. Phil worked there. His son worked there. It was good. You felt good. My mom, I'll take you to Phil's. You get one pair. And I think that's where the kids would get their, the kids, they, uh, my brother and sister would get their Catholic school shoes. Mm -hmm. Like you had to get, like Phil was an authorized dealer or sure. whatever. So we always went there. And then I remember when they closed, when they closed and the epic video next to them closed, I was like, man, times are fucking changing. We're I, moving into the corporate takeover. When we lived in South Philly, I always uh, wished... I was around on Pashunk Avenue where like that jeans place was. Big Mar oh, not Big Marty's. Uh, jeans oh, World or jeans wor something. Den Denim World or whatever. Yeah. When those were popping, I bet you those places were fucking awesome. So I, I've I been don't remember any of that shit. I've been in some of them. Yeah. So it's so weird you bring that up because I thought of the story as I was telling that. Uh, uh, Pat's family's from down, is all from South Philly. Mm -hmm. So that's where they would grow. I went with Pat, Pat and his dad. And uh, it must have been all right. He had there. to stop and get fucking clothes like pants. Pat did like and his dad's like, we're down here. This is where we're going. And it was like fucking, you know, gigolos jeans or whatever. <laughs> it was real. <laughs> Actually, shout out to big gay to my boy, big gay. And this is dad's place. Gigolos down there on Patreon. <laughs> the clothing store. Yeah, it's called Gigolos. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> See if you can find gigolos on Patreon. <laughs> Avenue. My buddy, Big Ant. Welcome to Adulterers, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you like what you see? Closed. Closed. Yeah, I think he sold it a couple years Hold ago. On. But we were in college. <laughs> Adulterers. Do you like what you <laughs> see? Yeah. It's pretty goddamn good. Do you like what you see? Adulterers. Don't tell nobody. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he went there, and I remember walking in there. Dude, it was like... Straight out of the fucking 70s. Mm -hmm. Straight out. Of, you walked in. It was like an old woman. I got. It was like fucking out of Goodfellas. A lady named Ruth. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's see here. Let's do one more, and then we got to wrap her up there, gang. Uh -huh. um, this one is from Medicinal Crocs and Compression Socks. Shout out to the big man. Sure. Is it garbage if your sole purpose of working out is to hit more dingers and slow pitch softball? No. That's all right. I respect that more than going, I don't know, I'm just a big juice head, like a big meathead. Just putting on numbers. You know what I mean? You're there, working towards something. There are a few things in life that feel as good as really connecting with one. Mm -hmm. It's just fucking. I never have. Connecting. Hit a home run? I don't know. I You've never, never, never hit baseball. a home run in your life. I, mean, never, I never really played baseball. You hit a home run? In Little League. Maybe one or two. All right, so don't act like you're fucking Barry Bonds. I didn't Bond say that. I didn't say that. 
Uh, I put a couple deep, though. I'll tell you that. I know, but the way you responded, it's like you, you, when you did 71 seasons. <laughs> <laughs> that was juicy. Yeah, yeah, fucking Belko laps. That's a good documentary. Out you right never now, hit a home run. I don't know. Wiffle ball? I mean, wiffle ball, you're not, that's not a true home run in wiffle sure ball. Sure it is. Wiffle ball is hard, way harder to hit than a softball, Yeah, but you're too. not playing on a From field. The did you run around the bases? That's a home run. Yeah, no, then that, yeah. But I didn't play. I fucking hated baseball. I didn't play baseball. Really? Until maybe I was six. Hmm. And I didn't have the upper body strength then. I had the fucking torso. I could turn the hips. I could turn my fat little ass. A little schwarby. Uh, but no, I didn't, I didn't play. I don't think I played past, like, kid pitch one year. Okay. Yeah, maybe one or two in Little League. Where it was like proper over the fence. Fucking Gary Bonds over here. <laughs> Kick rocks. So I respect the move. I do too. Also, you know, it gives you something. If that's what motivates you to get into shape. Sure. And be healthy. Cracking dingers. And for the love of God, stretch before the game. The amount of blown out ankles and knees that come out of like adult softball. Oh, legs, yeah. Dude. Dude, my adult brother, softball's all right. My brother he was like, I'm playing soccer. And men's league. I'm like, first of all, this is going to end. What? When? Like now? Yeah. That's crazy. So tore his ACL. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. Of course was, he did. I was like, dude, this is going to end horribly. He's like, no, no, no. I'm in the best shape of my life. MCL no or ACL had to have surgery. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh-huh. It's a bummer. And then another guy got knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, that's how hey, I. He was running his mouth down. <laughs> <laughs> he was yapping. I was just like, yeah, you, you're too old to be doing it. You got to take care of yourself. Dude, Softball's a little different. Softball's different. It's not high impact. You're not doing that much running. You're no. drunk. Oh, man. In, in, you Chicago, you're drunk. <laughs> you're drunk. Yeah. in Chicago in the summer, around 3 p.m., every single bar is full of dudes who look like they just got jumped. They just <laughs> yeah. got ice on their neck. Yeah. All covered in mud, dirt and stuff. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's a nice life, though. That's fun. <laughs> I don't hate it. Going to a local Chicago bar with your fucking uh, softball uniform on. We were talking to fucking DeRosa about starting a Joey Rose's team. I cool. would love that. That would be fun. Who would he play? Like they, they do have that showbiz league. They do? Like it's pro like a proper showbiz league? Yeah, I know people in it. Oh, they really? They play for like Broadway plays, yeah. Like like they have in fucking, fucking Seinfeld. Tune those guys up. What are you talking like about? Like they have in Seinfeld. Really? Yeah. A couple of singers and dancers. Uh -huh. Can they play? Probably. I can't, but <laughs> They're, they're doing pirouettes around the bases. Yeah, you're, you're, you're built more for, like, kicking dirt on an umpire's feet. I can manage. You can manage. I don't, know, about be... I don't know enough about baseball, though. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be a good first base coach if you can sit on a stool. I could stand. I'm losing the weight. I'd want third base because I'd want to fuck it. I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Did... <laughs> third base. Finger popping. I don't know. I'd want to be able to wave people home, and I'd be real loose with it, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got it! <laughs> Keep going. That's got to be the best feeling as a third mate coach. Like, Fucking send them home. I was telling you to go! <laughs> uh, we got to wrap it up, gang. <laughs> gang, I'm going to tell you this right now, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. We absolutely love you oh, to yeah. death, mm -hmm. and we'll see you next week. Peace! Yeah.